Round 5 coverage of CFR 49 is presented by Circle 4 Beverage Co., a quality hard seltzer made with real ingredients. Round 5 is complete at CFR 49 for the barrel racing and standing with me once again is Taylor Manning. Taylor, congratulations again. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm super happy with my horse Archie and he's just amazing. He is amazing. A 13-4-5 today. It was a phenomenal run. This horse just keeps getting faster and faster. Can you walk us through your run? Um, so I just wanted to make sure I could get his nose tipped in a little bit and stay out like my line, like start with the third kind of. Yeah. And he turned the first amazing. Yes. And then the second, he I couldn't tell if he was going to turn a bit too soon, so I pushed him by. Yeah. And then the third, he felt really good on the third. Yeah. And did did he feel that he was that fast, a 13-4-5 fast? Well, it's kind of hard to ever know with him because he clocks so fast. Yes. It's just, you never know. Yeah. And how tall is he, just for those curious minds, because we were curious? Uh, I think he's pretty big. He's 16-1. That's pretty big in, in my books. I used to ride a Shetland, basically. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what did you do in between perfs this afternoon? I mean, you didn't have much time. What were you guys up to? Um, I was just messing around at the barn. Um, Archie, I beamered him, and then he laid down with his boots on. Okay. So I couldn't take him for his walk right away. So he had to sleep with his boots on, and then I took him for his walk, and then just got ready. And which boots were that? I was going to ask you, actually, what therapies maybe you guys were doing with him to make him feel so good to run so fast. Um, so he gets his back on track blanket on him all the time. Yeah. Um, I beamer him before he runs, mm -hmm. and usually I try, and every, try every day. I miss okay. it sometimes. Yeah. And um, Jill Vandergast. Um, does mm -hmm. AccuScope on him. Yeah, perfect. Okay, everyone, I hope you're writing those things down. That is what it takes to be running a 1345 at the Canadian Finals Rodeo in <laughs> round number five. Let's talk a little bit more about Archie. What's he like? We know that Bling is a little bit pushy and kind of does whatever she wants. What's Archie like? He, I've never had a horse that he like is almost ground tied. Yeah. Like he's so good. He drags his feet when he walks back, when he walks there. He's just, it's weird because he's so laid back on the ground, yeah. but when you're running him, he's hot. He's hot. It's incredible. I love it. You have two horses that are completely different, but both are super, super fast. Taylor, you've been doing this a long time, like since you were 12. This is your sixth CFR, which is just crazy to me. But when you were little, let's say even younger than 12 years old, did you daydream about CFR wins and these gold buckles and all the rest of it? Was that something in your mind or were you, you know, back then just focused on going to the amateurs? Did you dream big? Obviously, I think so. Yeah, I think every kid at a young age yeah. dreams big and just wants to make it here. And I'm just super thankful to get here again. Yeah, absolutely. Well, with the team behind you, there's no doubt in my mind that you would, and you've always been such a handy horsewoman, so I'm forever proud of you, okay? Just so you know, in case you didn't already. <laughs> Where are you going to next after the Canadian Finals Rodeo before you go to Arizona? I'm headed to the Maple Leaf Finals in Regina. Perfect. And and where do you think you're standing in the Maple Leaf standings right now? I want to say I'm first coming okay. in. <laughs> She's probably first. We'll check. We'll double check that for everybody. But yep, congratulations. So that's very exciting. Um, okay, we're going to do some fun ones with you because why not? Do you have any rodeo superstitions or anything that you do before your run? Um, I always lick my fingers. They just keep them a little bit grippier for the rain. Yep. It's, Rail always did it, so I kind of do it. Perfect. Follow, follow what she does. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, how many unread emails are in your phone? Um, I want to say 40. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I usually try to delete them. Okay, perfect. And how many unread text messages are in your phone? Uh, 153. You know what? She's a busy gal, and there's. it's okay that that is happening. Don't even worry about it. You're totally fine. I'll work on it. <laughs> You'll work on it. You got a long drive. Maybe someone else can drive you to Arizona and you can do it then. Yeah, my mom. Get her driving. Yeah. <laughs> Last time that your uh, text messages were at a zero. I don't know if they've ever been at zero. Like the last two years, they for sure have not been. <laughs> That's amazing. That's okay. All right, Taylor, do you have anyone that you'd like to thank today again? Um, I'd like to thank my sponsors, um, Rail and Grant Little and my mom. Perfect. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.